This is a quick overview of the research binder and ideation techniques. Um, some of you guys may remember we introduced the research binder last semester. Um, this semester look a little bit different, but it's the same concept. So the research binder is meant to compile all your research, all your ideation, all your process into one location and to showcase that process from your concepts to where you end up. Um, each time you turn in the research binder, um, you will receive a grade for each project you will receive. Um, so for each project, when say for assignment one, you will have a grade for the actual assignment and a grade for the pro for the binder itself. So those work together, but they are individual grades. And the binder will be graded based on um, including your required components. So each assignment will have, there'll be a little area on what to include in your binder. And each area will, um, it will indicate what you're supposed to have at the end um, whenever that binder is due. So this is included, but not limited to sketches, process notes, ideation, mood boards, images of your final project, self-reflection, um, and then the organization and tidiness of the binder. Um, this semester, just so we can prevent you know germs uh, passing germs back and forth and physical items um, this semester the binder will be digital I will actually provide you with an InDesign template for that um, and then when your project is due you will export your binder as a PDF and turn it into me that way okay so although you will be provided a template the digital binder should feature your name, the course number, and the semester and year. And each binder will be worth 20 points. So what I will probably do, I might break that up and say the checkpoint's 10, the final is 10, whatever. Um, I might, you know, split that. But for each assignment, a binder will only be worth up to 20 points. So whether I look at the binder twice or I look at it once, um, 20 points is the max. Um, in the binder, um, again, these are, you won't have each of these things every time, um, but you will have, for each project, you will have sketches. Um, so five or more thumbnails, um, ideation tools, we'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, any notes or research, um, research worksheets, if applicable. Sometimes I give you guys sheets that have specific questions or things I want you to think about before you get started with a project. Um, a mood board, a lot of times you will have a mood board. I will also provide a template for your mood board in that template that I provide you, um, documentation of your process, your drafts, um, and the final completed project and mock-ups if applicable. Um, organization. So again, I'm going to provide you guys with a template. Um, in my experience, you can F up a template. I've seen it. Um, but as long as you keep the binder, um, the digital file binder organized. Um, we want to make sure it's clear, it's organized, it's labeled appropriately, showcases each phase of research and process, and it clearly articulates um, conceptual and creative choices and how that relates to your design research. So again, I'm going to provide you with a template, um, but there's a flowchart that kind of shows you how things should be organized. So there's going to be a project. And there, so essentially, there's a label for each section. So there is a cover page, and then there is a label for that section. So this kind of shows you what would be included in each of those sections. All right, um, and then we're going to go into ideation and process, but we will cover that in the next video clip.